speak about the reinstatement of the Mitzoro, that the Mitzoro heals, is healed from his leprous lesion, the evaluations made by the Kohen, and now he's reinstated. And there's a process. The Gemara tells us that Mitzoro Choshev Kemes, that Mitzoro is considered like a dead person. We also find such a terminology, Rishom Mechayim Kruim Mesim, that a person who's classified as a Rosha, as evil, he's like a non-existent person. That's what he is. So this process of reinstatement, it's the equivalent of Atchias HaMesim. He's reconnecting to his source, and the source of life is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Mitzorah Choshev Kemes, is because, as we, the Torah tells us, he has to go bichutz lemachne. He has to go out of all the camps. He's detached from Klal Yisrael. As we mentioned many times, HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not have a relationship with the individuals unless they're part of the whole. If you're part of Klal Yisrael, Hashem has a relationship with you. The moment you're severed and detached from Klal Yisrael, Hashem has no relationship with you. And therefore we find throughout the Torah, whenever the Torah speaks about kores, it's always nichrus ha-nefshi me'ameho. The nefesh is cut off from its people, or me Yisrael, from Klal Yisrael. It doesn't say nichrus ha-nefshi me'ashem. Because again, Hashem only has a relationship with a person if he's part of the whole, which is Klal Yisrael. Otherwise, he has no relationship. Going out of the three machnos, the three camps, and bodod yeshev, he's totally disassociated, and has no relevance to other Jews, He's cut off from Klal Yisrael. Once he's cut off from Klal Yisrael, he's considered cut off from God. Therefore, B'tzor Choshev Kemes, the leper is considered like a non-living person because he has that level of detachment. This is the reinstatement of that. We find that even if a, a person has a questionable leper lesion and he's quarantined by the Kohen, after a week it's determined that it's not a negatzaras, it's not a lesion, he's permitted to go back to his daily life. However, he's contaminated. He's contaminated, his clothing is contaminated. The question is, why is he contaminated? It was revealed that it wasn't an issue, it wasn't a leprous lesion. But factually, he had something which was questionable, it may have been. Now, why is the coin involved in the whole process? So these Sephardo says in last week's parsha, because the t- pasuk says in Malachi, Sifse Kohen Yishmu Das, the Kohen is the keeper of the faith, and when the person has this questionable lesion, or the lesion itself, and he has to go Gimel Machnos, the Kohen tells him that he has an obligation to introspect, and he advises him how to do tshuva, how to do the introspection. And he should be misspelled for himself. He should pray for, on his own behalf. And he says, not only should you pray for you, for yourself, I will pray for you. I will pray on your behalf. And hopefully through both of us participating in this process, you'll recover. Otherwise, you'll never be recovered. You'll never recover. When the person is quarantined, we're not saying he doesn't have He has a problem. But it's only due to this quarantine pro- process He's in the state of solitude. For a week, he has time to introspect and reflect on his behavior. So it's only because he did a proper tshuva during this time, and he was inspired that it should not turn out to be the full-fledged, the full-blown leprous lesion, only that's why he recovered. As a result of that, there is a tumor, there is a contamination. Because factually, he was on the border to go off, to go be detached. As a result of that, therefore, so it's not, it's revealed it was never, he was there, but he recovered from the slight deficiency and therefore that generated the contamination.